Hello and welcome back, my friends. It's Rob here again with Spellforce Conquest of You in episode two. And we just fought off, we successfully fought off that giant demon and its little, you know, friends, fire breathing friends. And we are now going to try to reconcile our groups here because we've lost quite a few, more than we'd hoped. Out of the corner of your eye, you catch a shimmer in the air. At first glance, you could have sworn this place is empty, but now you s turn to see a wishing well. Curious. That is weird. It wasn't there before. All right, now I have my group here with my apprentice, and we will come over here. Actually, you no, know we'll do. We'll, we'll come over here and take this thing out. So it is times. It it is some time since you heard any dispute over Olivia's Lenya fields. Recently, though, humans have become harvesting. Have begun harvesting again, and there have been some whispers of the elves wanting to take more aggressive action. On the outskirts of the village, you see a large creek. You see large creatures of bark and leaves rising from the nearby forest. Elven rangers between them. We try to talk, but we were lenient for too long. Ellen's wrath will wash this village clean. Hmm. Huh. So it sounds like they've tried to talk them out of this. And they wouldn't do it. So now the earth is angry. And the elves are angry. And I'm kind of with them. They're right. It's messed up. He joined the rangers, defending him as, as the tenants stomp the village into the ground. Once the humans have fled, science falls, silence falls in the grasslands before you. You've done a great deed today. We must save as much of the Ellen's grace as we can. Looks like Ali even likes that. And we've gained some good stuff here too. So it provides a grant flame armor skill in battle. And then... We've gained some gold, of course, the millennia, which would have been helpful. <laughs> and some pumpkin. And then we'll come over here. We're going to take these stolen pages here in a second. I don't want to do it just yet. So now we have some more catalysts. Let's do the millennia catalyst. See if we can do anything with it. We will drop a dwarven ignition there. And then we'll also drop this. To see. I just want to see if we can show. No, we won't be able to. Sealed elemental, uns unsealed elemental. Oh, this is. Someone's lesser fire golems to position in three range. I didn't realize I could do that just yet. And I'm going to. I'm going to do it. I just did it. All right. Oh, that's because of the Lenya. That's right. Because it increased my elemental as well. All right. So. We're going to bring this group over here. We have to bring our wisp now. We're going to go ahead and separate it from the shamans. And bring it over to the all fire. And we're gonna give it to the oh, give it over to the all fire's call, and we're gonna let it meld with it. All right. This group here is probably going to go to the stolen pages here in a second. But I'm thinking maybe no. Let's see what we got here. We got archers, brawlers, and hunters. I think we'll be all right. Let's go over here. The circle's forces have spotted you from afar and are prepared to battle. Stay away or we'll end you. Nope. That's not how this works. All right, so we're barely more capable, although they have the Nagas here, which are pretty, or sorry, Medusas. And then they have two Hunters as well. So it's going to come down to me fighting better because it says it's a close defeat. I'm going to need to fight better. And it's mainly because of those archers. All right, we're going to come over here. We're going to have to try to get closer because we need to encourage them to try to attack us. Hmm? All right, we're going to bring you over here. Come over here. And then yes. you're going to set up behind these. Right here. And we'll go ahead and let them all guard. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Sorry about that. Yes. All right, you can probably attack. Yep, there we can. Can you hit him from here? No, you cannot. But we can move one more farther. And yep, there we go. Yes. No, it looks like that's going to be the, the end of our movement here. Clearly, they're trying to take us out with their ranged units. All right, moving. 
little bit further here. There we go. We'll try to come over. Can we hit him from here? Yes, they can. Okay. Very good. Yes. Bring him over here and finish them off. All right. So the odds are definitely in our favor now. Oh. Look at that. They flanked him well. Good for you. I'm not even mad. I'm impressed. Yes. All right. You attack these guys, please. The use of warriors are definitely the main issue with this group. Oh no. Took out the shamans like nothing. Like they were nothing. I didn't mean to move them backwards. Sometimes yes. I'm trying to to speed up the animations and I, <laughs> I screw myself here. So, oh man. I don't know if I attack them. They're going to kill me, pretty much. The attack of opportunity might be okay, because I can flank them. But not well enough. So I'm going to guard in hopes that that's enough. It was enough. Good. So... It was just barely enough to keep them from killing me. Yes. And now I'll hit them. We going? And I might sacrifice this group. Eh? Yeah, I'll do that. Oh, man. That's too bad. I'm going to beat them, right? <laughs> but it's just not in the way I want it to. Yes. All right. So I overcame the odds again. But it's not to the level that I'd hoped to. We lost our hunters and we lost our shaman too, so. Alright, you search through every room of the circle's tower until you find your master's research spread out on a table. As promised, he has written about a way to channel a much larger amount of all fire using your towers of focus. Scanning the text, you barely understand half of it, but the potential is evident. The method would have brought him farther far closer to mastering all fire and rival the circle mages. That's, that's why they wanted to get rid of him. All right, so now I can take on Flying Spire. It does exactly as it sounds. I didn't mean to get rid of my my healing spell. That's too bad. All right, so we'll come over here and we'll give them six damage against units with armor. Increase my lodge to main range by one. We'll do that as well. And that means now this spot is also there. So this is an unexplored area. And yeah, so the... The increased lodge spot, uh, increased lodge zone of control is good. It's very good. But let's come over here. Let's get these two to, to kind of group up. Or we can get these to get, to, yeah, we'll get these two to group up. And we'll end our turn here. Oh, I'm surprised the wolves didn't attack me. They should have attacked me. All right. Let's get over here before they do. All right, so now I have a decent group here. They're pretty well leveled up. The Trees of Eyes reveal all nature and plant locations in a large area around a nature hex. Let's see what else is next. We could resist elements. Kind of boring. Awareness. Magically heighten the sense of all subordinates. So will allow for faster surveying. Or we can come back over here, and when roots grab their ankles, thorns cut their arms, and each step seems to be harder than the one weighed down by the exertion. We're going to go ahead and do fatigue. That'll come in handy more as we meet, we meet the other mages. I really want to get some workers. I really need to start being able to... There we go. Cities and shops have new inventory. Let's kill the wolves. We have to. We can't just leave without them. So we're going to win this without any losses. And we're going to take plus five health with this one. We want to get down to that city. See if, Oh, look at those. There's some dwarves. Great. We all love dwarves. 
All right, so now I've become a master mage. So I'll tell you about that here in a second. So we've gained a domain radius, an apprentice slot, and tower rooms. But the reason why was that that happened is because, and of course, this angers the other the other mages. Oh, oh, hello. The magical institute of elements. All right, so why did that happen? Well, I have leveled this out so that there's actually proficiency points going into my mastery. So my mastery is basically like a, a leveling of my, my character, my my mage's ability. And yeah, so as I did this, I started to gain proficiency, proficiency points. And that will basically increase the range and my ability of my tower. So we're going to go take on these dwarves. There's only two of them, which is good. So I should be, I, I'm able to take them out without any losses. And then now we're going to finally come down, please. That'd be nice. And then let's, let's use another catalyst here. And you can right click too. I've been left clicking for some reason. Dwarven ignition. That might be the only thing we can really do right now. I don't really see anything else that would be worthy. I almost don't want to use the Lenya for that. We could do that. We almost have enough for another arcane. So I'm gonna I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna try to get some more. I really need workers. Because what I really need to do is start harvesting things. So I don't know if my guy here has harvesting skill. He does not. Anybody else have harvesting skill? It does not look like it. I don't see the harvesting skill for anybody else. So we're going to have to get to that city and get a worker. Those ingredients are important. We're going to need them. Come on down, Mr. Mage Apprentice. And turn. One last time. Flying Spire, we're going to do that here in a second. All right, let's see. A worker. Yes, we do. Excellent. So we'll buy the worker. And I don't want the militia. Just want the worker. Come on, worker. Worker man. All right, come over here and start harvesting. Start getting ore. And then what we're going to do is we're going to select this flying spire spell. You're going to see that we try to let our mage's tower fly. Unfortunately, we don't have a grasp on the spell just yet. As you can see, we just fall right back into the ground. Fell right back into the ground. So a sudden earthquake. Basically, we screwed this spell up, so we need to study it more. And so we will hit levitate tower maybe, but nah, maybe not yet. I don't think we need to just yet. Let me see, actually. Let's see what's going on right here. The Shaper Secret might be a good place to come down. This might be a good area to drop that. Because we're about to... So all these are, are finite. And that means that in one turn, we're going to lose the two gold and two knowledge that comes from this spot. And in five turns, we're going to lose the five gold that comes from this spot. So we're going to need to move... We might need to move sooner than I thought. So we will go ahead and get this ready. All right. Let's come to the wishing well and see what's going on here. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Ah. <laughs> I hit right click too, too quickly. My bad. Let's toss in the coin. All the rope up. Curse my luck. All right. So... Nothing's coming of that. Let's not do that anymore. Village gossip. Uh, let's see. What are we going to do? Where are we going to move to? I do think we're going to have to come over here and take the Shaper Secret here so we can move our Mage's Tower over this way. And that'll get us... We, you know, Depending on how we can leverage it, maybe we can get some gold here. Definitely some gold here and knowledge. But the problem is we're about to start running out of gold. So 
Now able to move your tower across the land of Fiara, you can seek out a more powerful off our source and connect with it through your tower. So where is that? Oh, it's over there. Way over there. We'll get to it though. So we'll come over here. Actually, we'll pick up this along the way. So, and it's an ingredient stash, so that's good. Select some research. Now we have fatigue. Let's look at what else we can invest our research in. Missile resistance, we'll do that because that might be very good for particular battles. Plus one world map movement. All right, so once these guys are done, we're going to come down here with them and see if we can get another worker with them. And we need to start... Yeah, we definitely need to maybe take brawlers this time. And we're going to start needing to hire units from the city as well. Like, actual good units. Completed that. Some copper and experience. Come over here and harvest this. And then we'll come down over here to grab those ingredients. Good luck charm, some lenya, some remains. And what do we have here? A couple of militia and what is this last guy? That's a hunter. All right. <clears throat> well, let's see what we can make. Let's see if we can make anything good. We'll do a lenya. And we could drop a seal down. Oh no, I don't want this too. We're going to leave that. Some mountain copper. Yeah, we'll do that. Just to get some stuff. Because also, that's a quest right now. We want to build, or we want to create more of those to complete our quest. Should be good. I think this is going to be a pretty easy battle. I don't know why it's saying that we're going to lose two units. There's no reason for us to lose two units at all. Except for when they run away and they set up good defenses. That's <laughs> that's that's not good. All right, let's come over here. Again, we'll kind of just try to... We're going to have to move forward. They're making it happen. Yes. They're forcing it on us. It's a decent tactical AI for sure. They're trying to get the high ground is what they're trying to do. That's that's pretty smart. Yes. I'm digging that AI decision. As much as I don't like it, it's a smart decision. Yes. All right, let's see if we can get to a position where we can hit them. We can hit them from there, so we will. Can we hit them from here too? Yes, we can. All right. And then, what about here? Yep. All right. We're going to force them to come to us. They did not. Yes. Oh, man. Almost dead. I almost want to rush these guys in and kill them. We're going to. We don't need the elemental. Don't worry about that. Okay. All right. Yes. Decent damage, but we're going to kill you anyways. <laughs> Flank them from behind. There you go. All right. So we didn't lose any. I mean, I like that about the auto resolve. Like it, it sure it's quicker. But it won't yield the results that you want. And if you're smart about it, if you're remotely smart about it, I'm not a smart guy. If you're just like remotely capable, you can, I guess, beat the odds. As I've said many times. I hope those dwarves don't come down and start destroying my stuff. That'll be sad. Mine was depleted, so there's that. It's gone. So now we're negative five gold. That sucks a lot. Come over here and take some mana. Let's see if there's anything here. There is. Heroic victory. We'll take it. 
And we'll level up our characters here. Let's do... Throw Sand's good, actually, for negative 5 damage. But this one's plus 2 melee damage. I like that better. These guys can do become a healer. That's fine. I like it. We'll come over there first. And then we might do the Shaper Secret. I think what I want to do is... Yeah, we're about to be able to levitate. Let's do it. Let's go ahead and levitate it. And we'll move here. So we'll be able to take that and this, and then also the Shaper Secret. And I might actually, now that I don't have any use for this lodge, I might move the lodge as well. So let's let's see what the Shaper Secret's all about. Let's see if we can handle it. I forgot how capable or how difficult that battle is. Why can't I just tower can move? Okay, fly over. There we go. Let's set it up there. Almost there. Oh no, why don't you move one more? Oh, that's the goblin. I was like, what is he doing? All right. The goblin just jumped off the flying tower. Like, yo, I'm ready. All right, there we go. Let's move him out of this area actually, because that's where I want this tower. Tower will come here. Oh, one more down, and we can actually get one more too. So here would be all of that. That's great. So we'll go ahead and land it. That'll give us there. That'll also give us the gold there. And then we have, looks like this isn't occupied. So that gives us there as well. And we'll be able to now recruit some more goblins. Yay, more goblins. Well, let's find out how bad this is going to be. You've read upon your many shaper crafts, so you understand immediately what you have found. This is an old weapons manufactory. There are smithy tools and large furnaces, hammers the size of Kratessa, Kratessa, and constructs to wield them. I have no idea what that word is. I've never seen that word before. Search every nook and cranny. We're going to take the glyph. So they're going to find a glyph cuddled by a dead rat. We're going to take it. So we're always confused when there's going to dart breaker. Oh no, that sucks. It was cursed. Units always deal minimum damage. Oh man, I wonder if that's forever. <laughs> Hopefully it's not. Perhaps that liver is a better call. Try it. Take a closer look at the journal. Let's take a closer look at the journal. Lever activated. I do not think it's possible. Something is being built before my very eyes. Now I am intrigued. Pull the lever. The lever is pulled. The machine splitters the life. A crystal encased in the metal starts to glow, pumping metal magical essence. Is that it? No, of course not. There's going to be somebody who wants to attack us and kill us. And it's a giant, giant thing. I forgot what they're called. Like a, some sort of golem. It's a stone golem. That's what it was. I wanted to say it was a nature golem, but it didn't sound right. So I didn't call it a nature golem. I'm glad I didn't. Because I would have been wrong. Yes. And what I can do now, because I'll need it, is actually bring in some stone. There's some fire golems. And we're just going to attack this thing from every every angle that we can. It's kind of hard to burn stone, but we're going to try. All right, there. Let's flank it. Oh, it looks like I won't actually hit it at all. So let's not. The attack of opportunity won't happen because he's turned. Very good. All right, so we'll attack and flank him. Yes. Which means I can flank him again. And now we're getting confident, aren't we? All right, so we're going to drop a Dwarven Ignition. 
And we'll take it. Oh, no. Quite the AoE attack. I forgot that it did that. Let's attack from this direction so we can then hit you from this direction and kill you. Bye. Said I was going to lose. I didn't lose one single unit. I think it's because if you go auto-resolve, the AI doesn't use potions and stuff like that. So, some golds. We've gained some more with Alivan. And we've also gained a level. Your attention is caught by some paper struck be or stuck between two hinges. You wrench it free and take a closer look. It is stained with oil, but it certainly looks like magic. Nature spell page. That's what I'm talking about. Alright. So, the cool thing about... This one is it has a much higher finite level. We're still going to have to keep moving. That's the thing about this game. We're going to have to keep moving. It's like always moving. Always pushing forward. Let's go ahead and level up. And we will take the willpower on this one. And let's go over here and actually go into the shrine. Gain a blessing. Maybe it'll be a blessing that'll offset my disorientation or whatever it is that I've now been cursed with. All right, great. So we've got Aria provides strength, Aria skill in battle, which is focus regeneration. And we've got some potent water. Let's go over here and see if there's another. No, why don't you have workers? I need workers. Oh, man, I really need workers. I hate that they don't have any. All right, so with that, let's bring you over here. Oh, I thought they were in boats. For some reason, this guy is not getting in a boat. He is, however, in need of a level up. So we'll do plus two research per day. That's great. All right, so what do we get? Resist elements. I'll take it. Sure. And then we could build a lodge here. And that'll get us these two here. So we'll actually be in a pretty decent positive gold balance. Over here. Exploring the fairy grass, you find fairy wings. That's cool. Although it's not really good for you. Because <laughs> you can already traverse any terrain pretty much. All right, crafting duration, negative two. So we should probably do something about that. All right, great. So now we've gained more knowledge, more gold. Let's go ahead and craft something. So this is actually something that we should consider putting on one of our people. Let's see what catalyst we have. Plant sap. Let's try to go down that route. Let's see what death will give us. Do I have death? I do have death. All right, so berserk shrooms. We'll take that. It's only going to take one turn, which is great. And then we will come over here. Let's see what's going on over here. All right, you're immersed in your studies when you hear a soft knock on the door. A woman in simple gar village garb waits at the foot of the stairs, nervously bringing the edges of her apron. Oh, she gasped. Distraught. I can't. I shan't intrude upon your sanctum. It's just the old master arcanist, arcanist here said he. If we have any trouble, we should come to him. All right. So what's going on? So what do you need me for? So basically, she's asking me to take care of some undead, and we'll do it. And it's actually really close, so we will definitely do it. All right. Fine. If you need it, we'll do it. Looks like somebody actually took control of that area too. Well, it's, oh, there's no one to hire because they took my village. And let's do this. And then what? And then what? Maybe we use this because I don't really care too much about it. We've got sacred water, which is white damage and we could probably go further I'm trying to see what else we can do I, I want to show you what else we can do 
So this is the happy pill. Refills the action as an allied unit. That's really not that important to me. I like the sacred water better. Sacred water is pretty important for some, like for undead units, it'll really mess them up. So we'll do that. Go over here and turn. Really got to keep moving in this game. It's got to be like you just constantly have to find your next spot. So we're going to charge in. Keep an eye on them. Maybe we can learn more. No, I'm just going to kill them all. Oh, Lord. Okay, I'm actually going to win this without any need to fight the battle. I was thinking that with the undead mages, I might have a problem, but... Totally not. Waiting through heaps of splintered bones and smashed skulls, you leave the broken tomb behind you. We gained 30 gold, which is fantastic. Let's go ahead and level up for armor. And then you can gain Meditate, restores up to one focus. Mage Hunter. Throw a healing potion. We will take that. And move... You down here. Let's take that guy out, and then we'll come over here. We we gotta find out what's next. Where's the next spot that we're gonna be? We'll take awareness too, because you know I've been I've been neg neglecting my spells. We definitely want transmutation here in a little bit too. Mana for gold is gonna be very important. All right, so hmm. Huh. Let's do Primordial Forest. I can show you what that's all about. Oh, cool. All right. Why are you coming this way? Why is everybody coming this way? Unless you want to fight. I'll fight you. Close to feet? No way. I literally almost double their power. Silly. Silly AI. Oh, it's because they're, they're behind that. All right. It does make things a little bit more interesting. Yes. I'm not gonna lose, but it might be a little bit more difficult than I had anticipated or hoped for that matter. All right. Oh, they come through. Oh, good. Sometimes they'll stay behind those walls. In fact, a lot of times they'll stay behind those walls and then it becomes impossible. Move you up here. Move you back behind these guys. And you. Because. Yeah, let's see what we can do here. I'm not going to unseal the elemental. Unless things start to look really bad. If that's the case, then I'll definitely do it. But. Alright, let's in turn. Let them guard. Okay. Decent movement here. That was some smart stuff. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it at all. Ah, oh, man. What do we do here? Yes. Good. All right. We're going to be able to take these guys out a little bit more than I thought. There we go. All right. Now, I wonder where they're going. Let's go ahead and let them all guard. Okay, they're attacking that group, which is... Oh, they should have finished me off. They didn't. Silly AI. Yes. You had your chance. Mm. You had your chance. You could have. You could have taken another unit out, but you didn't. But I still have those wolves to worry about, so that's a problem. That is going to be a problem. How many other? There's three. So we can actually put that here. Which means we can then turn around and just <laughs> harvest it. Which I'm going to. And then I'm going to take an aid. An aid spell. But we also need more units, right? So... I'm gonna drop a shaman. Oh no, what do we have? What's our capabilities here? We need, yeah, we're gonna take the shaman. Why can't I go into it? Wait, what's what's the problem here? Why can't I actually combine the two? Oh, for some reason, they both came. 
That's why. We're gonna force force end turn here. Okay, so you're attacking my lodge. I'm not a big fan of that. You, just you, are gonna go into this group. And then you're both gonna attack this. All right, we'll start the battle. I think I should be all right. Wolves maneuverability is pretty darn good, but they're coming straight for me, so I feel all right. Okay, let's move these guys together so we can then give them healing spores. Move you over here. You know what? We still want to heal this guy too. Heal that one too. Yes. And then we will. Can we attack? Yeah, we can. All right. So we'll hit him a couple times. Can we hit them? Nope. Yeah, they maneuver well. That frustrates me because they're gonna. Yep, they killed the shaman. <laughs> Damn it. Oh man. Yes. I shouldn't have lost that shaman. That was bad tactics. That's what happens when you do bad things. And those, that howling makes me sad for the wolves that are killing me. <laughs> yes. mm. Yeah, that wasn't my best battle. I should have considered the fact that they were going to double up on my shaman there. I forgot their maneuverability. I was just talking about their maneuverability. I literally was just talking about how, maneuver how maneuverable they were. All right, so extra damage on flanking is very good. And then we have elemental weakness, which apply in kindled enemy positions, or we have wildfire. So target a burning enemy, a burning, burning enemy to spread burning to enemies in a two tile radius. I like that idea. And then you can actually join this group now. Should have known. All right, well, let me know what you guys think. Do you want me to do an, a third episode and continue playing? Or do you think this is enough? Have you seen enough to know that this is a game that you'll either buy or pass on? I mean, I can't... I'm not allowed to give you my like definitive thoughts. In fact, Jesse, one of our writers, has been playing this game for well over 200 hours. And he'll be doing the full written review for our game, for this game. But... As far as like my impressions, I think you guys understand where where I'm coming from with this one. I would love to keep playing if there's the audience for it. So let me know if you want me to keep playing. And if not, I will probably just do one more episode. And if you do, then I might just keep going a couple more. So let me know what you guys think. Until then, this is Rob from Explominates. Keep exploring. <laughs>